What's going on guys? Welcome back to Grave Uncut. This is going to be a very special episode of What the Fuck Internet. Now, I know a lot of you guys have heard what's been going on in the U.S. as well as around the rest of the world. The coronavirus outbreak. Now, I call it a outbreak because, well, it didn't just come out of fucking nowhere. So there's been a lot of shit going on, and I'm only talking based off of New York, New York City and New York State-based stuff here. Because just recently, uh, we're primarily like at the verge of a full fucking lockdown. We're at the point where a lot of freaking places, libraries, movie theaters, bowling alleys, bars, restaurants, they're all closed due to this outbreak, due to the trying to prevent the outbreak from spreading more than it already has. I think the people, like the amount of people that are affected are in like the hundreds of thousands worldwide. Speaking on the New York end, I'm from Staten Island. Put that right out there in case anybody didn't really know that. But we've had several issues where people that had the virus still went out in public. If you have the virus, don't go out in public. Don't spread it around. I understand you got shit you gotta do, but take into consideration what you're doing to affect everybody else. Like, for instance, there was a situation, there was a story going on where a parent went to one of the local high schools over here to get their kid. The parent had the virus. In turn, the kid has the virus. Both were tested, both came back positive. They purposely tell you do not, if you have the virus, go out in public. But nobody's taking it seriously. There's a lot of reasons why. The big one is the media is blowing this whole thing out of fucking proportion. Now I'm gonna throw some facts at everybody here. I'm only using New York State as a base. New York State has a population of about 19 and a half million people. Take that into consideration. I'm gonna have the number like right here. 19 Point five million people. We are blowing this out of proportion. We're making it seem like half of that has the virus in New York State. No, in New York State, last I heard, confirmed number was 612 cases, of which only a handful of that died from the virus. And they had underlying health conditions, whether it be respiratory, whether it be poor immune system. Those are the ones that are more at risk of getting it. So in all seriousness, we're looking at now, I may be off on this percentage as far as the people that are affected. And remember, 19.5 million versus 612, 613 that have the virus. That is approximately a 0.01%. Hell, it might be even 0.001% that have it. I understand all lives matter here, and everybody that's affected should take precaution. If you're not washing your hands or washing your ass, maybe do that. You should have been doing that in the first place, you nasty fucks. It's gotten to the point where people are hoarding toilet paper. T think about this. For a virus that has, that impacts, has, you get a fever, you get coughing, you get sniffles, plus some respiratory issues. How does that translate to toilet paper? I mean, I'm sure right by now with the way people are buying toilet paper, I mean, Charmin's stock is through the fucking roof. <laughs> but seriously, Calm down on the fucking toilet paper. Get some cold and flu fucking medication to try to combat, or better yet, get some cough drops to take care of the cough. I, as far as the respiratory issue, you might want to see somebody for that. Get some rest, soup, whatever. People are buying toilet paper like it's going out of fucking fashion. Like just the other, just today, I went to get some the essentials, tissues, toilet paper. I was only able to get tissues at a local CVS. Meanwhile, toilet paper and paper towels, fucking barren. 
For fuck's sake, people. Although, don't get me wrong, I love the memes that are coming from this, which shows one thing and one thing only. Take the thing seriously, but don't take it too seriously. Again, the media, for a fact, is blowing this way, way out of proportion. And the government's doing everything they can to contain it. Understandable. Appreciated. FBI, don't take me out. Anyway. There's no reason to be freaking out to this level. Where an entire state is at a borderline lockdown, curfew at 8 o'clock p.m., till 5 o'clock in the morning thing. Some of you watching this uh, may or may not know, but I work from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. My job is still running. Let that sink in. My job is still running. Everything else is closing. Everything else is closing. My job is still open. But then again, we provide services for people. We're taking the precautions to keep clean, keep everything clean, keep everybody safe. Meanwhile, everybody that's fucking around, that has the virus, running amok in public, we're not even allowed to have a group of more than 10 people at a time. Anyway, I, I'm on the screen, you're going to see some memes from this whole thing, and it is by far, they're the best fucking things I've seen yet. Holy crap, like, a lot of them I can't stop laughing at when I see them on my newsfeed on, on Facebook. <laughs> but, in all seriousness, um before this video gets any longer than it needs to be. As far as this virus is concerned, and it's been said several times, the news media is blowing this way bigger than it needs to be. Hell, to an extent, the government's even making this more than it actually is, in my opinion. You guys may differ, my opinion, that it's just going overboard. Because now we're at the point where a lot of businesses are shut down and people aren't making money from their businesses. And that's an issue, because how the fuck is people, people going to afford rent, afford to pay their mortgages, or pay, able to afford their bills? Yes, I understand that there are precautions being put in, but the media needs to calm the fuck down with this. Like, it's not... It, it's, it's an issue. It's a big issue, but it's not as big of an issue as they're making it out to be. I remember uh, watching a video a while back. It was a George Carlin uh, comedy session... Uh, comedy uh, video where he talked about the impact on germs and the medical, to an extent, the medical field and viruses and stuff like that. And I will, if I can find the video, I'll include it in the description of this video because it's actually worth the watch and it makes a lot of fucking sense, especially for a comedy video. If you're taking personal advice from a comedian, then if the comedian is giving you personal advice, well, advice in general on how to deal with medical shit, uh, listen to him, because <laughs> he's obviously not taking it as seriously as everybody else is, because he's not, he's looking at it through the eyes of somebody that's, sees through the bullshit, all you re people really need, all everybody needs to really do, um, take care of yourselves, take care of your family, um, stay healthy, uh, wash your ass, um, stop buying all the fucking toilet paper like a bunch of fucking morons, and keep yourself clean. Keep Wash your hands. Sanitize yourself if there's no freaking soap and water around. This virus is not... It's, it's, it's killing people, don't get me wrong, but it's not as big as everybody's making it out to be. Like, honestly, people, I can't fucking like, stress this enough. Stop buying the fucking toilet paper. We're at the point where we gotta go out in the woods and find fucking leaves to wipe our asses. I'm still trying to fucking make the connection. Like, we're going from sneezing, coughing, breathing problems, and connecting it to toilet paper. What's next? Uh, someone's gonna fucking take x lax and uh, buy up all the nasal spray? For fuck's sake. Anyway, I, for those that tuned in to watch this, I want to thank you guys for watching. Keep yourself healthy. Keep yourself clean. Don't buy all the toilet paper. And if you're shitting up a storm, don't buy the nasal spray. Because somebody else might be able to need that. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again soon. And also, what the fuck, Internet?